and what is going on YouTube? Just another gaming channel, bring you just another video. So guys, we have another treat here for you today, and it is again with the Warlock. Now, ignore the number, I'm actually size 325, I've just been transferring weapons over so that um, to the other character. So what I've been wearing for the most part is, let me show you, which I think I did a video on, which is the Omega Mechanicus set, okay? Um, so that's the set I've been wearing. Okay, no, I can't get back in there. Sometimes it takes a long time with the loading screen, guys. Um, and before I start, would anyone be opposed to me buying another set of silver? I want to get these armor sets for, not this armor set, this, this is the armor set, okay, this, this is the armor set you get from uh, it's part of the microtransactions, but you can get it for free. And actually, this entire set, this came from none of the engrams I paid for. I did buy one set of, engra uh, of silver, and I got all this from RNG just randomly without actually buying any silver. So that's what I've been wearing. But with this class, obviously, I've been wearing the uh, um, this beautiful piece that allows you to um, get a shitload of uh, rifts, which is great. So I had most of the armor the last time you you've seen, you've seen, you'll have seen me with this uh, before the um, the Keros function set, um, but this is the set in its entirety. Uh, it's quite nice. I don't mind the color, but of course I prefer to change the color. We got the bond as well. Look, there we go. The other bond is that's that bond. Um, so let's get into it. Okay, so Future War Cult has an artifact they call the Device, which may be Vex in origin, Sister Fio Fiora. Is that Feo Feora? Feora? Yeah. Theories on the Vex. Okay, so this 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 helmet or the design is something to do with either the Future War Cult or it looks very Vex in nature. Now, if the future war court has gathered technology that has allowed them to produce this armor set that that has de uh, vex uh, technological capabilities, um, so it's quite interesting there. So it's a mobility set, unfortunately. Um, so high mobility, and even when you change things to recovery. And, um, but the helmet itself, very vex-like. Uh, I very much like it actually. Um, ah, look at the back. Look at the back engram there. We've got half a sun. Is that something to do with Osiris or ancient Vex worshipping or been worshipped by gods? I don't know. Um, but it looks like you know, you've got the single Vex eye. You've got um, almost the eye of Osiris as well in there, haven't you? With the uh, the you've got the circular eye of the Vex, and then you've got the the more traditional shape of an eye. Um, and then the way the helmet's designed, it almost looks like a crown, doesn't it? It's like a Vex head plate or a or a crown of some sort, um, so it's pretty interesting. Uh, they've gone with like uh, almost a metallic, rusty brown and green, um, as the uh, you know as time has taken its toll, and um, yeah, you see some metallic blue um, contours and face pieces on the mask itself. It's quite interesting. You can see on the shoulder pad there the sun emblem, and that, could this represent? Osiris, well, I mean, this is an Osiris set, isn't it? From Brother Lance, it's what you can get. So it's definitely something to do with Vex and Osiris in that context. So the sun, is this representing Osiris' abilities or is it representing the prophecy that the Vex will indeed turn the universe dark and extinguish all stars, all suns? Um, it's quite interesting. There's a lot of theories you can draw just from, just from the uh, detailing of the armour itself. So the uh, arm pieces themselves. Um, Vex structures on Venus and Mercury predate the Golden Age and possibly humanity itself. Sister Feora theories on the Vex. Okay, so Sister Feora theories. So this is some sort of uh, grimoire, some sort of diary, an accounting of uh, the, uh, the Vex themselves. So, okay, this is looking at the arm piece. Now the right side has got like <coughs> A shoulder piece that comes slightly off, and then two underlining, um, I guess you could say, additional armor pieces. Um, the left side has a very inert 
you know, ornate shoulder with what looks like a vex eye <laughs> appearing off the shoulder. And again, there's also a um, a piece of material that appears to be almost appears to be hovering. It doesn't appear to be attached at all. It's if it's floating in place. It is floating in place. So very advanced tech vex technology to create this armor set. Now the right arm is more ornate than the left arm. Uh, so the left arm is more ornate than the right arm. Um, again, there's emblems of vex eyes or half of eyes or sun mode it's like a combination of vex it's like the vex eye is this is the star and then you see the the flames and 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 the protrusions of what might represent fire coming off those eyes it's a very interesting combination um if you look from this angle down the left side and the right side there's the entire left side and right side of the full armor set are covered in circles now this could be the ever-ending peering presence of Osiris being able to peer into thousands and thousands if not millions of timelines at once because he can replicate himself remember the most powerful warlock um, ever existed and there's theories that during the battle of the six fronts I think it was uh, it could, I, could get, I could be getting my battles mixed up but it was either the battles of the six front or one of the other major battles um, and basically Osiris was basically teleporting so fast that he, duplicated, he replicated himself and um, so he had like hundreds if not thousands of versions of himself fighting all along the city walls what an impressive sight that must have been um, you can see the the bond there itself. We can we can have a look at that while we're here. It's a very beautiful ornate bond. I mean, the colours of the armour itself, this green and grey, are quite nice, but um, it's not my personal cup of taste. Cup of taste? It's not my personal cup of tea. It's not my personal cup of taste of tea either. So let's actually look at the robe. We got most of that from that. So as you can see, the uh, the design of the armour is absolutely fantastic. I mean, look at that. That left side, fully ornate combination of vex um, it's definitely the armor is definitely um, a hybrid armor set in my personal view it's basically um, a combination of a worship to Osiris using te vex technology to enhance it and it looks part vex part Osiris because it's got the vex look but it's got like sun sun motifs and Osiris motifs all over anyway let's look at the flavor text here Multiple analysis confirmed the milky um, radiolarian fluid found in Vex chassis are, um, is organic in nature. Sister Fiora theories on the Vex. So whoever this Sister Fiora is, she's the one that's, that's basically found the origin. She knows the origin of the Vex. She knows that the organic is the real being and uh, the robots are just carriers, essentially. Um, but look at, the, look at the design of that. You've got these... Okay... Right, the rings down the side, the circles, they're actually emblems of infinity. Can you see that? Repetition of repetition of repetition, infinity, 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 all the way down both sides. That's fantastic. But I do love the asymmetrical design of that armor. It looks great. Absolutely great. So this is one piece I'm going to build up, as well as the piece that um, I got from... Luckily, I got from Eververse without actually spending money. Um, even though I did spend money, I didn't get the uh, that actual set from it. That's great. So, the boots themselves are pretty straightforward, um, but they're nice. Uh, they've got this bright blue half vex, half sun symbols on the front. Um, interesting designs on the shoes there, but I admit uh, it's pretty straightforward. Green trousers. Uh, green and grey and sort of earth tones throughout the design um, really is interesting okay so the words if the Vex had achieved what we could call time travel surely none of us would now exist um, Sister Fiora Theresa so she knows so she's identified that um, while they have been able to massively control time they can control time within a specific field so the reality engine is more of a simulation. The time of glass, uh, sorry, the vault of glass was a, a laboratory where they could um, basically control time. They try to figure out how to do it on a on a universal scale, and if they achieved that, um, they could go to any point in the universe where life started and just snuff it out. 
been quite quite fascinating if you ask me no one asked me but there you go does it say anything on this okay so the bond as you can see it's quite a nice bond um, some speculate that the radiolarian fluid is the last vestige of a biological life form that became the vex okay so the same basically this liquid is what the vex used to be sentient yes did was it was it was it humanoid was it by by modal i mean what was it a quadruped i mean what 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 was it before it ever and this makes me think well humans created exos and implanted human consciousness consciousness into a mechanical brain now i wonder what coolant system or what type of um, biological matter it would need to bridge the gap between consciousness and an ai or it's not even bridging consciousness between ai it's full it's full human it's full humanity inside a metal case so i wonder i i'm swear like i'm i'm starting to think cage six in one of the dlcs or somewhere in the future maybe they don't say he volunteered or accidentally got knocked into one of the vex portals to he either agreed to go on a mission to explore the very first vex portal or join a battle that got knocked through or the vex knowing that he's their creator somehow you know kidnapped him and forced him through by nefarious means traveled billions of years into the past when not much life in the universe if any had started and he was on his own and then then it began then the vex began evolution i don't know maybe he met other races maybe tried to create a companion i don't know and it all went wrong and that's the vex were born um some fascinating theories here guys um so you already know I've got some Telestos, I've got some high level Telestos and that, I've got some 328 Ward of Coils, uh, I'm wanting to get this Prometheus lens up, I'm wanting to get the Prosecutor up, uh, so yeah, um, any who's, any how's, thank you so much for watching, oh no I'm not going to end it there guys, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, what we're going to do is we are going to Look at some shaders on this little bear boy. See, I like this. No, oh no, I'm on the wrong. I'm on the wrong one. I'm on the wrong. Ignore what I just said. Ooh, I do like that. I like the orange, but the blue and green, it's just not working for me. Okay. Now, before I was just like, okay, let's just do Dead Orbit's Fate. When I had a few pieces, but that looks pretty, pretty alright. I don't like the green. Don't like the green. I've Gotta say. But I don't think I'm going to go with Dead Over this time. So look at Regalia. This never never works out as nice, does it? Nah. Oof, no. Let's have a at Monarchy of the New. In Monarchy Diamonds. It's the diamonds. It's, it's a bit of Bobby. This is... Hey, that looks pretty sweet. Ooh, I don't know. Um, let's have a look at some of the new... What about the Descendant Vex Chrome? Now that's the rusty one that makes me not like come falling to pieces. Uh, um... 13 of metallic sunrise and what what we got in store today oh absolutely nothing okay so do you guys do you mind I, I don't agree with loot boxes I certainly don't but and the only reason I do buy them is is to get well stuff for, for my channel first so you guys get the views and some of my videos have a thousand four or five thousand views and I've only got 300 subs and I make no money from it it'd be nice if I did but in all fairness, I don't like until I became ill. I was like a very quiet and accomplished university lecturer. In fact, I was excellent. Um, you know, I'd when I'd put together a lecture, it'd be scripted. Um, Ten minutes of talk time would be about six to seven hours of research and practice. So, ten minutes of screen talk time would for me be many, many hours of. of, of referencing research putting up you know designing the, the presentation and practicing over and over again so i got those to 10 minutes fixed and then i would usually lecture for about an hour so an hour lecture for me is like two weeks work and i don't think i've got that in me anymore at the moment especially living on only three hours sleep a month on average so me setting up patreon for asking people to help to pay for this channel um give donations to keep it going just seems just bad form because I wouldn't be able to give you anything extra guys and obviously I'd like it'd be nice to make money from it but I, I just 
I know I'm not. You know, I can't. Yes, I can edit. I know I can. I can edit. I can. I can do more with it. I know I can't. But at the moment, it's just quite comfortable for me just to, you know, have a little intro, uh, do the thumbnails. I mean, I could have video intros, music intros. I suppose I could, but I don't have scripts. Um, I have general ideas and topics when I want to talk. What I want to talk about. Uh, but other than that, I don't really have anything to offer. Uh, so if um, you know, may maybe at a later date, if this channel ever becomes big enough, then yeah. Um, but right now it's a free service, and I'm quite happy to do that. I just it would be nice to make a little bit of money now and then, but um, I have nothing to offer you at this moment that would justify that. So. But as I've been moaning about that, we've been finding some interesting. That's quite an interesting look for it. What do you think? That looks quite good. The Hake. Let's have, all right, let's have a look at Noble Concert Road. It's that green I can't get behind. Serious Modular Shine. That's not bad. So let me have another quick look at Monochromatic. So that's that's quite all right. It's just the green, the green man. Why why have they made the green so Freemish blue man? I love that armor on. I love that. Sh I love that armor on. What's its face? You know. But the Xeno silver. Did I look at that and that look okay? Yeah, I like that. Is there something more green that I've got that will help with that that green? Because it's the green that's put it's putting me off. I've got Iron Wolf. Looks fucking fantastic. That looks that does look fantastic. Yeah, that's got it's gotta be Iron Wolf. Because that works. And then there's the Iron Titans, there's even more green. That's like I mean that would work. That will actually work better because it's more green, but I love the I love the Iron Wolf stuff man, I really do. I love this Iron Wolf stuff. Look at that, it's, like, it's all silver. Oh we're brown and yeah, okay. We're going Iron Wolf guys. Alright, first of all. All right, let's go Iron Wolf. A turn, huh? engage. Iron Wolf. I don't know if I've got enough to do more. Jesus Christ. Iron Wolf. Two fifty, yes. Iron Wolf. Yes, sir. Well, I don't know why I'm talking like that, guys. I'm talking like complete. Was that Iron Wolf? That'd be the wrong one, then. I think I did the wrong one. Crap, 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 guru. No, no, I didn't. There we go, look at the cell. Oh, it looks fantastic. And the boots. So what the problem is, guys, is I'm having to swap between... Um, because I have to swap between different characters to get the um, the levels up because of the different types of, uh, you know, you can get exotics and stuff. And then I have to transfer weapons back, which remembering which, which weapons to transfer back. So, so I definitely want to transfer that back. But I think I wanted to do a few more... I think I wanted to do a few more. Um, I'm struggling to get heroic. I shouldn't. I'm struggling to get exotic. What can guys. I do for you, Warlock? It's a real problem for me. Okay, I'm really struggling. Hmm. It's good this. to see so, you alive, Guardian. I was wondering. Okay. It's kind of relaxing here. Even with the most difficult see, I've got so, well, all that is required. Okay, is guys, I'll tell you what we're going to do. All right, anyway, you know, we're going to leave it there, guys. Sorry, we're going to leave it there. Let's just have one more look. I'm, I'm, this was meant to be an armor video. I'm going off on a tangent. So there it is, guys. Looking badass, as always. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab some of my weapons back. But I've got no uh, space in my vault. I've got one, I've got one space. I'm gonna grab some shit, delete it. I keep deleting stuff. They need to sort the vault space out. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the armor of this badass. And I will see you all on the next one. So cheers. This is a prison cell. Sometimes an engram is the key.